Hi, this is Dr. Paul Manado, your Asheville, North Carolina Y strap and hammer and chisel chiropractor. Uh, thanks to all of my subscribers. I'm sorry I haven't put a video together in a year. Um, it's just we've been very busy. I see patients seven days a week. We're working today, it's Easter Sunday. Uh, and today I have Cesar with me. And Cesar's been coming uh, for several months now. And um, I'll let you. I'll let him tell you his story. So, um, yeah. So, what um, what brought you in? So I was having complaint with my lower back and some hip problems. Right. And it was bothering me a lot. Okay. And, and you were born with um, a condition. What was it? With rickets. With rickets. Mm -hmm. Okay. So rickets is basically a vitamin D deficiency that causes the bones to be very brittle. So, um, did that affect like your growth and all of that? Yeah. yeah, so growing up I had a lot of knee surgeries. Knee surgeries? Knee surgeries, so that's affected a lot of my, I guess, nervous system. I just being able to move around completely. And like walking? Yeah. So you, you've been using the, the cane, uh, the crutch? Did you, were you on um, braces when you were, or, or crutches when you were a yeah. boy? Yeah, when I had surgeries I was able to recover pretty well with it. But, but you've always had to have some kind of mm -hmm. aid? No, no, you, no were this is, this is you were a, able to walk on your own? Yes, okay. so I was using the crutch pretty recently because... And, and that's due to the most recent surgery? The most recent. Now moment. when was the hip surgery? You had a, a, a pin put in your... Um, it was... In your a, leg? About two years ago. Two years ago, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, but since that time up until now I was... I've been trying to build muscle, but okay. a lot of my back pain has kind of stopped me from being right, able to do right. things. And since you've been coming here, has it improved either your pain or your function? Yeah, it's helped a lot since then. Right. And uh, tell us about the, your weight balance when we first checked you. So before I, when I first came in, there was a 30 pound difference. I was putting more weight on my right side. On the right side, yeah. Than the left side. And, yeah. and since, now, since I've been coming in, it's been more balanced. Yeah, what was it the last time we checked? It was a five pound difference. Five pound difference, right. Mm -hmm. And we also know, we also added a lift. Uh, we put a small lift in his right shoe just to, when they did the hip surgery, they um, actually made the leg a different length. So that was throwing him off as well. Mm -hmm. So, all right, well, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So let's go ahead and lie face down. position there good Okay, so we're going to be doing three leg checks here. So we're going to be checking the leg length here. And so right now the legs are even. We have the lift in the shoe. So the lift is doing its job because he was about a half inch shorter on that right side. Now we're going to try to bend the knees. And you'll see his right one bends a lot further than his left. So we've got some blockage here. And then we're gonna try to raise the right leg straight up as high as you can. Good, and then try the left one. And again, you can see the left one, left one's harder. So we know it's this left SI joint here. So that's where we're gonna start. 
I'm gonna place just a block under the knee here and then we'll adjust the left SI joint. chiseling here on the hip. This is going to unlock the SI joint here, the sacroiliac. Get him some more motion in his pelvis and help his gait. Is there any pain here? No? Okay. Check the flexion. Good, and you can see now they're even. So we got the motion back in that joint. Now let's try, raise the right leg again as high as you can. Good, now the left. A little better, this one's still harder. What I'm gonna do is place this wedge under his hip here. And then that's gonna stabilize the hip. And then again, we'll put a few more drops in there. going to come on around this way. There it goes. Feel that one pop? Mm -hmm. All right, good. All right, so now let's see. You can raise your left leg now as high as you can. Good. Do the, this one again. Good. Let's see the left one again, as high as you can. Okay, it's getting there. So we definitely have issues with this left SI joint. All right, let's move on. We're gonna have you turn your head to the sides and then just see which way feels more difficult. To the right, okay. There you go. Okay. So adjust the atlas here. 80% of rotation occurs around the atlas and the axis, C1 and C2. Good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good, back to center. Okay, so now turn your head to the left. Now turn to the right. Yeah. Is it even or still harder to the right? It's even. Okay, good, back to center. Okay, now. loose, loose. Good, on this way. Wow, <laughs> feel that? <laughs> okay, take a deep breath, see if your breathing's better now. Okay, turn your head side to side again. Better? Yeah, it'll be Okay, good. Now slide down. So now we're going to work on his forward head posture. So chin up. This is going to bring his head back to his shoulders. That table's going to drop. Good. Blow out. Good. Blow out. Good. to help the forward head posture. The tender? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so let's recheck now. Turn your head side to side. That's better. Way better. Okay, good. So you can see you can turn his head a lot further. Alrighty. Good, now let's lie on your left side and face the window. The 
atlas adjustment again. Okay, good. And then I'll let you to sit up. Yep, just bring your legs that way. And then we're going to have a seat and face this way. You can just stay here. Breath in, breath out, lie down, lie down. That was good. All right, so now we're gonna go back and do some decompression on your lower back. So let's come on back this way. How'd that feel? Nice. Felt nice? Felt that in my upper back. Yeah, it helped your breathing? Yeah. All right, let's come on back this way. All right, so now we're gonna be doing some Y-axis lumbar decompression. So we're contacting the lumbar region here and we're just gonna decompress that joint like so. Good. This decompresses the disc, the nerve, and it also hydrates the disc as I'm pumping this. It's hydrating the disc with fluid. The discs are 80% water, so we want the discs well hydrated for proper uh, spine function. Now we'll take the table to the side here and go this way. to the other side this way. So this is opening up the facet joints in the spine and decompressing the disc. Okay, good. That was a real good stretch. Did that feel good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no pain on that one? No. No. Okay, good. So now you can go ahead and stand up. Okay, great. Well, let's come on inside here. We're gonna do your Y strap. All right. So you ready for your Y strap? Mm -hmm. Good. So this is probably what your, maybe your eighth or ninth Y strap, would you say? Approximately. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Has it been a game changer for you? It has. Yes. yes. Okay. Got my lower back a lot. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and lie back. And then slide down just so your legs hang just a little bit. Are your legs comfortable there? Mm -hmm. And your hips? Okay. All right. So I'm just going to pull the hair up out of the way here. Perfect. All right. Head down. Your head. Good. All right, so you're gonna feel like a little stretch there. Stretch there, loose. Good. What'd you feel? Pops. Good. Uh, take a deep breath. How's the breathing feel? It's really good. Good? Mm -hmm. yeah, that was a good release today. Did a good job. Good. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and sit up and then just sit there for a second. And you might feel just a little lightheaded there for a second. All right, is that okay? Yeah. All right, here's your crutch, and you go ahead and stand up again. And then and you just turn around and face the van. 
Okay, so that was the full body adjustment. We did the hammer therapy, the wide strap. We did a little spinal decompression. You can see he's doing so much better right now. Uh, by just by the smile on his face and you're a tattoo artist is that correct mm -hmm. and what's the name of your business um so i'm just bouncing around different Bounce. shops but oh. the shop i'm at right now is called Mag magic dagger magic dagger okay well great maybe we'll look him up sometime um well so do you have any questions or anything concerning your care or um no no questions anything else you want to say i definitely recommend seeing seeing a chiropractor yeah. if you're having any sort of pain um, it helps a lot for sure great well thanks for watching uh, be sure to subscribe uh, to our channel and uh, make sure you hit the like button and visit us at our website minitochiro.com